Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we're gonna talk about snapshots and backups. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first thing that I have to mention here, all what I'm going to say applies to both virtual machines and also container. Okay, but here in our examples we will just take a look at uh, a container because it's much easy to deal with it okay so first let's begin with actually snapshots so what are snapshots so actually a snapshot include the state of a virtual machine or a container it includes also the state in memory and the virtual disks so we usually uh, use snapshot when we want to install, uh, for example, a program or library or model, and we are afraid that something happened to our system. So first we take snapshot, then we execute our command or our install, and if something goes wrong, we can roll back to the last state of the system, okay? So as an example, we'll take here uh, this container here called Ubuntu, it's running, okay? and also it has a web server nginx so for example if i execute this command you can see that it's running nginx okay and uh, let me grab its ip address here we go it has that 175 as an ip address just to verify that it's running a web server and if i open another tab on my web browser on this address you can see that I get nginx running okay so let's actually try to take a snapshot of this machine here okay so in order to take snapshot it's pretty easy you click on the container or virtual machine and you can see that there are many sections but one of them is snapshots here okay so you click on it and here you have the option to take snapshot okay here I have to mention one thing for a container especially for containers if this container is running on the system different than ZFS you will not get this option here okay so for example I have another container this Debian here which is running in ext4 file system and you can see that I have this message here the current guest configuration does not support taking new snapshot because simply in order to take snapshot for containers they must reside in ZFS file system okay so let's return back to our Ubuntu machine here and it's pretty easy to take snapshot all you have to do is to click on this button here take snapshot okay so let's take a snapshot we can name it for example here uh, running uh, nginx web server okay and i will take a snapshot so you can see that it's very fast to take snapshot because it's actually just a record state of machine or container or virtual machine actually in a point in time okay so here we go you can see the date and status of this uh, snapshot okay so now let's return back to our virtual machine or container in this case and try for example to remove nginx to uh, uninstall everything is to use the purge command here we go so now everything will be deleted okay let's verify so now I don't have any service so let's go to the web page and verify that service is not running so if, if I do a refresh you can see that I don't get any more the web page for nginx okay so now we have confirmed that nginx has been removed for our system okay so now if you want to return back to the first state where nginx wa was installed actually all you have to do is to go to once again to your snapshot section and you click on the snapshot where you have actually nginx running okay it's this one here so i will click on it 
and I will click on this button here to roll back. Here we go. You have a message roll back running nginx. Current state will be lost. Of course, we want to return to our initial state. I will hit yes and I will wait it for to be restored or to be rolled back. Okay. So now we have restored our system to the previous state. So let's verify that. So we have to start once again the machine or the container in this case. Here we go. Let's enter our credentials. Okay. So everything is okay here. So let's now uh, try to verify if the service is there. So let's try to verify that uh, Nginx is running. So I'll use systemctl status Nginx. And you can see that actually without install it again, we have already set our system back to Nginx was installed. Okay. So let's verify that on the web page. Here we go. So before rolling back the snapshot we don't have any web page here for nginx and if i refresh it i will get back the nginx web page so you can see how easy it is and useful to use snapshots so use them always when you want to do an operation and you are afraid that something will happen to your system and you want to roll back to the previous state okay and you can see also how easy it is and how fast it was to do that okay but pay attention snapshots are not backups they are just actually storing state of your container or virtual machine or uh, memory in disk okay so we are done with snapshot now so now we'll move on to do the same thing but this time using backups so this is the real backups when you want actually to back up the whole system with all its configuration okay okay now so we will take a full backup of our container here so the backups are really really important for the system administrator because they record everything that is related to your machine all its data the state configuration files and most of the time this backup should be actually uh, stored in another system or off-site in order to avoid any errors or loss of data okay so as you can see for this container ubuntu we have also uh, section backup so we click on the section backup and all you have to do is to click on this button here backup now in order to run a backup okay so let's run a backup here so here there is you have to specify the storage where you want to store your backups so most of the time it's advisable to store it in another share or another volume okay but here just for testing we're gonna just choose uh, for example another directory called backups okay and here is the mode there are actually three modes snapshot suspend and stop so snapshot actually it's the least downtown for your virtual machine which means your container or your virtual machine is still running and you can actually do backups but this is not advisable because maybe that some processes are running on the background okay and in order to avoid any error of constancy it should better the better way is to stop actually your uh, container over your machine take the backup okay but here for just demonstration i will use snapshot okay for the compression there are some options also you must choose from but we can stick with the default which is zstd okay you can of course email to yourself if you have configured the mail server in your proxmox okay so let's run this backup and see what we get so here i'm just running against uh, actually a container so it will not take a lot of time 
because here I have just a small container which has nothing on it okay and you, as you can see the task has been finished successfully and just in a couple of minutes here we go of course here nothing appears because the storage I have chosen is not the one where I have uh, actually backup to my uh, container so I have to change it to backups in order to see it here we go you can see that our backup now is has been successfully uh, backup to this storage type so now I can even remove this machine and restore it from a backup okay so because I have everything I need in order to actually get another machine running in this case which is a LXC container okay so you can see how easy it is to run backups and snapshot using actually Proxmox but here just I want to remind you of one thing for especially for uh, containers if you want to execute or take snapshot they must be run under ZFS okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to actually do some snapshot and backups on Proxmox as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.